Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss nomenclature and classification of enzymes. Enzymes are biocatalysts which are found in living organism, including human and all living organism in the world. First of all, we want to know that what is a catalyst. Catalyst is a chemical substance, an element or a molecule which can speed up a chemical reaction and takes this chemical reaction to completion. Some reactions cannot be completed without these catalysts, which are usually enzymes which are found in living organisms. For example, if a person eats an egg which is a protein and that egg is stored in the stomach and this egg is not going to be digested without the enzyme. Even that egg may stay in the stomach for many days. Some acid may decompose that egg but cannot digest it completely and properly. But if we, if the, we have pepsin enzyme in our stomach which is going to digest that protein of the egg within two to three hours and whole egg will be digested. So that is why these enzymes have very critical uh, position in the living organism because they speed up a chemical reaction. Just like uh, uh, a catalyst and one more example of catalyst is, is a teacher. A student which is uh, particularly a math student, chemistry, biology or any other subject, he need coaching from a teacher, expert teacher. The student can also learn from online learning, on the web learning and many other from uh, many other apps but a total guidance can be obtained from a certified teacher or an expert teacher so teacher is also work like a catalyst which can used by a student to complete its study and to reach its destination so question is that what are enzyme the Characteristics of enzyme we are going to discuss maybe in oncoming lecture but few important properties of enzymes are that enzymes are catalyst of living world. It means that they are found in all living organism. They are protein in nature. There are some other enzymes which are non-protein but most of the enzymes are proteins. They are action specific and also they are very rapid and very accurate and they can be used in very small quantity and they usually speed up a biochemical reaction. So in this lecture we are going to discuss nomenclature and classification. In the earlier times people usually named enzymes by the location of that enzyme like pepsin, trypsin, chemotrypsin etc. But nowadays they are named by adding A's, A-S-E, A's as a suffix at the end of the name of the enzyme. It depends on the nature of the substrate or a chemical reaction or a location. For example, the enzyme which break down urea is known as urease. And the, an enzyme which break down cellulose is known as cellulase. So there are different uh, categories of uh, enzymes. So we are going to discuss one by one. The first category of the enzyme is oxidoreductase. Oxidoreductases are such enzymes which do catalysis of oxidation reduction reactions, which are most of the time taking place in living organisms. The examples of these chemicals are alcohol dehydrogenase, cytochrome oxidase, NAD plus oxidoreductase. So these are some examples of these enzymes. How they work? they do oxidation reduction reaction and for example a molecule is a h2 which has hydrogen attached with this molecule and the other molecule is p so they are going to do oxidation and reduction of this molecule in the after the chemical reaction a will be separated and hydrogen is going to attach with the b and it will become bh2 the next example of uh, next category of enzyme are transferases these enzymes catalyze such reaction in which there is a transfer of functional group from one molecule to another molecule. 
The examples of these enzymes are hexokinase, phosphorylase and transaminase. How they work? They transfer group, functional group. For example, a molecule has functional group X attached with it. A dash functional group X. The second molecule is B. After chemical reaction, A will be separated and the functional group is going to attach with the B. So it will become BX. That functional group has been exchanged. The third category of enzymes are hydrolases. Hydrolases, as it names mention that it brings about hydrolysis of molecule. Basically, hydrolysis is a uh, breakdown of larger molecule into smaller molecule in the presence of water. So if we look at the example of hydrolysis, lipases which break down lipid, ureases which break down urea, pepsin which break down protein, acid phosphatases, etc. They do hydrolysis. A molecule is A, B which is a larger molecule in the presence of water. This enzyme will break down A, B and it will become A, H plus B, O, H and the molecule has been hydrolyzed. The next category is lysases. Lysases are such enzymes which add or remove water, CO2 or any other molecule. If we look at the example of uh, these uh, lysases, aldolase, histidase, fumarase. So these are some examples of these enzymes. How they work? They do addition and elimination from one molecule and towards other molecule. A molecule is A, B and the second molecule is X, Y. So these molecules are going to get exchanged with each other. A will have X and B will have Y and it will become A, X and B, Y by addition and removing of some part of the molecule with each other. The next category of enzymes are isomerases. Isom these enzymes usually catalyze isomerization reaction. So as you know that isomers are such molecules which have same uh, molecular formula but different structural formula. So these uh, enzymes can uh, change one molecule into another molecule by just changing its structure and it will they will become isomer. So if we look at the examples of these uh, enzyme triose phosphatase isomerase retinol isomerase, how they work, they interconvert isomers. A molecule is known as A, they, is, they are going to convert this molecule into A dash. The next molecule, the next category of enzymes are ligases. These uh, enzymes uh, do catalyze the synthesis reaction, synthetic reactions. So if we look at the example of these enzymes, glutamine synthetase, and acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase. So these are some examples of these enzymes. They do condensation, which is a synth synthetic process. For example, there are two molecules A plus B and after chemical reaction, they will become AB. They are going to attach with each other. But remember, during this type of uh, activity of enzyme, ATP is usually utilized and ATP, the energy is stored in this molecule and the ATP is converted into ADP and inorganic phosphate. I hope it makes sense and that's all for today.